briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1989, the Supreme Court of Georgia heard the case of Smith v. State, which centered around the admissibility of a victim's past false accusations in a sexual misconduct trial. Michael Smith, who was found guilty of rape and child molestation, appealed his conviction, arguing that the court had not allowed evidence of the victim's false accusations against other men. The lower court had excluded such evidence based on the rape shield law, but the Supreme Court ruled that evidence of prior false accusations was admissible to challenge the victim's credibility and could be considered substantive evidence indicating that the crime did not take place. Another point of contention was the testimony of the state's child abuse expert, who claimed that the victim told the truth about Smith's allegations. The court ultimately found this testimony erroneous, as expert witnesses are not permitted to provide opinions on facts without specialized knowledge. In overturning the lower court's decision, the Supreme Court of Georgia clarified that previous false accusations by a victim can be used to question their credibility in court. Additionally, the case underscored the importance of expert witness testimony limitations based on jurors' existing knowledge and skills. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.